Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about what I believe is the most extroverted zodiac sign. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, first thing up is, well, uh, as far as Aries goes, um, Aries definitely would be a prime candidate, viable candidate to be the most extroverted sign. They are really they're not about procrastination or hesitation. They are very aggressive and assertive, um, and they will not waste time in initiating uh, a connection with somebody. And they, uh, and they like, and like Leo, they do like the uh, attention. I think Leo can all get it automatically, but Aries may push a little bit more for it. They are a pushy sign, but anyway, but they're certainly a candidate for it. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is Taurus. Well, Taurus, to me, it would be hard for me to envision seeing them as the most extroverted gregarious zodiac sign because, I mean, Taurus is often, I mean, they are very, um, I mean, their demeanor, they're just very much uh, to themselves. They're often en enamored uh, with home or domestic matters. It's hard to get Taurus to actually go anywhere. I mean, I should know. I am a verse, I have a version to going different places. I'm pretty stagnant and center, and I, many of you may know I have Taurus rising. So it'd be hard for me to see Taurus as being the most extroverted uh, zodiac sign. Now, um, and they are, again, they are very, and also Taurus is very quiet and taciturn. They really are not really known to be very loquacious or talkative. And in order to be extrovert, you do have to talk a little bit. And Taurus can be very reticent, very quiet. So anyway, next sign. Well, Gemini certainly could be um, a prime candidate for a Gemini of course, is very loquacious, like the antithesis of Taurus, sometimes downright garrulous. They will talk to people uh, on end about a uh, multitude and manifold subjects. They will keep, they could often keep people entertained for a very good time. They could often be one of the lives of a uh, party, basically. They are ones that uh, disdain monotony and they certainly couldn't be sedentary or stagnant for too long unlike Taurus and in being mobile they like to go out and they like to take their little short journeys and going to different places and, and meeting other people and they then and again their variety is the spice of life for them so I think when I look at Gemini, I think they're definitely a candidate and I'll, I'll let you know at the end of the video whether I think it's them or not now going to Cancer, now Cancer may unequivocally to some people may be the most introverted zodiac sign. I don't, I think it's really, I mean, them and Pisces are the two most introverted signs, I believe, of the zodiac. But Cancer is often a homebody. They often, I mean, they're at home often because they could be dominated by their home, their family life. Taurus, it's a little different reason because Taurus is just, I think, more fond of their domestic activities in general. But for Cancer, it's more family oriented cancer will often uh, retreat into their shell to escape the harsh realities of a cat cancer is very averse to criticism ridicule derogatory remarks and just general meanness from others i should know something about this i have a cancer sun and a can it's a cancer stellium as well i've had sun in cancer mercury in cancer and mars uh in cancer and so I can really resonate with this energy tremendously. So it's hard for me to really, cancer is about safety and security, and they're more about being protected in their home and about home security. They are not ones where I would think would be the most um, extroverted zodiac sign. Now going, um, now going to the zodiac sign uh, Leo. Well, Leo can be, um, you know, really uh, very uh, gregarious, very extroverted. They're certainly one a sign that can be a candidate to be the most extroverted uh, zodiac sign. They are ones um, that like to be the life of the party. They often clamor for attention. Sometimes they just get it automatically because of their very strong presence and their magnetism in general. And uh, Leo, just again, they love the attention. They love to be lauded and praised. They will often do things to get that attention uh, from others. They are one of the loudest zodiac signs. Very, they could be very vociferous, even boisterous. And it's hard for them to go uh, unnoticed. They are really known for their extroversion and gregariousness. So uh, for me, uh, I think they're definitely a viable candidate to be the most extroverted zodiac sign, and I will tell you at the end of the video whether I think they are or not. 
Now, Virgo to me, Virgo is certainly a sign where uh, it's very hard for me to say that they would be uh, the most extroverted zodiac sign because Virgo can be very shy, reticent, very humble. Uh, they often bask uh, in, in a Leo type shadow, so to speak, because they are not ones that are really looking for that much attention. They are ones that are uh, really uh, there again. They are that is a sign. I mean, being a feminine sign and Virgo can be very shy. They are ones that can be somewhat inhibited in starting uh, really connections uh, with others. I mean, don't get me wrong, Virgo's got a lot of good qualities. They're very analytical, very punctilious with details. But the thing about them is they're more, taught, they're more about really um, being very studious and, and really in, in being to themselves and, and doing their analysis, doing their studying, extrapolating data, etc. But they're not ones that are really about putting themselves out there too much and meeting uh, people. They Again, they're more about their, their studies, their intellectual pursuits, and they're not really ones that are about ingratiating themselves that much with others. So I'd say no to Virgo. But going to Libra, well, Libra can certainly be a viable candidate to be the most extroverted zodiac sign. Libra is about is about ingratiating themselves with others. They are uh, ones that are certainly not shrinking violets. They're often very charming and and really like to be. Uh, they're often the so really the socialite, so to speak, of parties. They are the ones that will charm the socks of others, so to speak. They love to they love to communicate. They have very good literary ability, being an air sign, and they're about partnerships. They are re dominated by relationships, so this is certainly a prime candidate to be the most extroverted zodiac sign. Now going to Scorpio. Scorpio can be really about uh, very secretive. They can be really much uh, to themselves. They are often spending they are they really are reluctant to let others into their lives to let new people into their lives my grandmother uh had a scorpio ascendant even though she had very strong leo energy including a gregarious leo sun she was very much to herself very introspective very introverted almost reclusive she had a few select friends and she had difficulty in letting new people into her life and scorpio energy is strong about that they're very secretive they don't want i think part of this is attributed to the fact they don't want other people getting into their personal business and fear that it's going to be used against them at a later point in time if that person that so-called friend becomes an adversary so i say definitely no to scorpio now going to sagittarius so sagittarius certainly can be a prime candidate to be the most uh, extroverted uh, sign of the zodiac, Sagittarius can be very jocular, very jovial. They're often the life of the party. They could be very gregarious. They are really travel-minded. They are ones that often go to farm tra uh, places and interact with foreigners. They are certainly ones that have a hard time being as adventurous as they are and travel-minded to stay home and to be uh, it really to be reclusive or be introverted or uh, what have you. So, I mean, Sagittarius definitely is a candidate uh, for um, for that. So, anyway, to be the most uh, extroverted zodiac sign. Now, going to Capricorn. Well, Capricorn really, again, they're, they're a feminine sign. They can be very introverted, very introspective. They often, they are often dominated by their career ambitions. They have certain extroverted ability when it comes to things of like business executive nature trying to make it to the top they will not hold back and and, and stop communicating it if it if it's something pertaining to business or having them reach their career aspirations but they are ones because uh, Capricorn can be very skeptical, very cynical. They have a little hard time letting others uh, in their life. They are very, they could be somewhat suspicious uh, nature given that they are an earth sign. And for me, and they're very self-protective. They're really, I think it's a little difference between them and Scorpio for these reasons. Scorpio, it's about getting that, that and again, about that information, that personal business being used uh, against them. Uh, later on, their private these things that are connected with their private life being used against them later on Capricorn. I think it's just more of a general uh, suspicion and 
the fact that they just have a hard time trusting others because Capricorn often has very good business acumen, executive ability, and often that comes with success, that comes with monetary reward. And I think what it is, Capricorn just might be afraid that others are going to use them for that, uh, for really to be friendly with them just so they can um, really use them based on their stature in life and whether it's for something monetary or to get some kind of position under them because they know them so i think that's more connected with that um, as opposed to the scorpio mistrust hold on a moment people sorry about that i'm back well the next sign i want to talk about is Aquarius. Aquarius certainly could be a prime viable candidate to be the most extroverted zodiac sign. They, Aquarius is that universal friend syndrome. I think they have there. Um, they will all, I mean, it's very hard for Aquarius to go somewhere and be a stranger to others. They are ones that often will make their friends or acquaintances very quickly, but they are ones to not I mean, they exude a very friendly, uh, really amiable uh, energy. They are ones, again, that they are not, uh, they're about, they can make their acquaintances very quickly, but sometimes it can be a hard time getting to know Aquarius very uh, deeply. There's an aloof, detached energy uh, with Aquarius. I think a lot of it is attributed to Aquarius because they have that freedom, independent uh, syndrome and they want to be able to be free to make other connections and not really have anything really deep uh, with someone. It's a little different than Gemini because Gemini just likes their variety. They don't want to be tied down and because it breaks, it, it really would, it would become monotonous and too mundane for Gemini to settle down and have a deep connection. But Aquarius is just more of a general independence and freedom issue, I think, uh, with them. Now, uh, Last but not least, we'll talk about Pisces. Well, it'd be hard for me to say a Pisces is a, uh, the most extroverted zodiac sign. Pisces can often be about isolation and, and, and retreating into their fantasy realm, which often doesn't uh, include uh, people in it. They often like to be, you know, where they can be somewhat reclusive. It's like kind of for similar reasons to cancer, because cancer will sometimes uh, escape the harsh realities of really just the general meanness of the world. But I think Pisces, it's more about the general reality of everyday mundane life that they're often trying to uh, avoid. So they often retreat into their fantasy world. Uh, because of this, they can also be very submissive, passive, and timid, and they do have a hard time in initiating connections with others. So it'd be hard for me to put Pisces uh, really into that uh, conversation as being the most extroverted or gregarious zodiac sign. Now, the sign I'm going to choose the most extroverted zodiac sign is Leo. I think they're unequivocally the most extroverted zodiac sign. Keep in mind that they do correspond with the fifth house in astrology, and the fifth house is connected with personal popularity. Uh, Leo just can't be popular enough. They are all, they're, they're the, the, really the, the, the quintessential, really, um, as far as, um, as far as if I should say, they epitomize gregariousness, I'll put it uh, to you uh, that way. And, and also the quintessential extrovert, if you want to put it like that, they are the ones that will often clamor for attention. They can't, they don't want others to be oblivious to them. That is like such a, they take it almost like a personal insult. If you're oblivious to Leo, it's almost like they'll take it to really to heart, no pun intended, given that the heart does correspond with the zodiac sign Leo. And they are ones that are, I do believe are, I mean, they're almost really, on a, again, irrebuttably the most gregarious uh, extroverted zodiac sign. They often will be the life of the party. They will often keep people entertained, showing their tricks, whether it's juggling or riding on a unicycle with a board on their head or, or walking on some tightrope. They are, they are the ones that want all this attention. They like the accolades, the recognition for whatever it is they're doing. And in order for that to happen, they have to have this constant interaction uh, with others and others to see them and they will often be uh, boasting about their achievements and their accomplishments and in order to do that you generally have to be around others and uh, Leo is connected again with the fifth house and fifth house can be about partying and entertainment so you understand where I'm going with this so again uh, people 
Uh, that'll conclude uh, this YouTube astrological segment for the most extroverted zodiac sign. And until next time, people, Edwin Learner saying stay well.